So, okay, honey, I'm live, sweetie. So, uh, hello, guys. Hold on one second. Hey, Maddie, if you if there's a bad spot, cut it out. Yes. So have Dad help you if you need to, and just cut it out of it. Sorry, guys. My daughter is going to be cooking some. She's going to be making baked potatoes by herself. So she um has never done it before. And so I was trying to kind of help her getting get going a little bit um, before I jumped in here. Let me grab that chat. Awesome. Okay. So how is everybody doing today? Are you guys enjoying this like somewhat surprise of a mini thon we're doing here? Um, I just thought it was really cool to do this like little thing. Have some fun, get out of with everything else that's going on in the world, and just like diamond paint and talk to each other and enjoy each other's company. Um, because, like, especially if you're a social person, um, the whole social distancing and everything can be somewhat difficult. Um, like myself, I am a people person, I like to talk to people. Um, I like to be around people. And so it's definitely weird. Like my mom stopped by yesterday and um, to to drop something off because it was my son's birthday not long ago. And um, it was weird because she didn't, we weren't, we didn't like hug or kiss, you know, like usually I would kiss her on the cheek or she'd kiss me on the cheek and we would hug or whatever, but we were like six feet apart. Um, even though like I've been home pretty much most of the time unless I go to the grocery store. She has to work still because she is a elementary school cook and um, they are still providing meals for the kids and sack lunches um, and you can go and like pick those up. So uh, which is really cool because a lot of kids staying home right now is definitely like I know with my son staying home him home all day is definitely making our budget bill go up because well for one thing he's 14 and for another like he normally would eat breakfast and lunch at school and he gets free lunches at school so and breakfast and so now that he's eating those at home you know just costs a little more so I'm I was really glad to know that like the community is doing that especially for the, the people who like you know there are kids that like don't eat at home hardly at all and now that they're going to be home for like all this time like it's just it's it's really good that they're doing that so but let's see who we have. Um, I am using StreamYard and actually Alex, Alex, can you bring me your mouse please? Um, it's much easier to do the mouse with like an actual mouse because I, otherwise I'm reaching over to my computer and it's just more annoying, I don't know. So I'm using StreamYard. I've only used it one time. I used it last week when I did my interview with Rachel from Treasure Studio Arts. And I really liked it. I really like how you can like, you know, do the question, like not questions, you can oh, do, okay. you can highlight, um, you know, comments and stuff, which is really cool. So I was like, I'm gonna use it again. And then you can also like record in there, which is fun, which we've been doing for the collab. Um, with me in Crashly. So, yes. Okay. So, let's go ahead and see who's in here today. All right. We have, I'm not going to say your name right, guys. Um, Riva Quaz, the Grinch Corner. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I'm not good at pronouncing normal names. So, that's a definitely um, a unique name. I've never seen that name. But, welcome. You were the first one in Diamond Painting Dreamer. The second one, uh, mystical. The third. You guys, are, <laughs> you guys are funny. Everybody's saying like fourth, fifth, sixth. That is, you guys are hilarious. Uh, Treva Moonheart or Treva. I'm not sure. I'm hoping I'm saying you right. It's Treva, I would imagine. But she said, "Hey there, still hanging." Crashly. Woo woo. Still no kitty. Ah, oh, that's not fun. Don't think I've ever been this upset over a pet in my entire life. Girl, I'm sure, is it a boy or girl? I can't remember. And that, have they ever got out before and like, you know, not come right back? I know my cat, when he sneaks out, 
he's like, I'll see you in a month. Not really, but he wants to go out and, you know, explore and play. Um, and I hate it. And there was one night he didn't come home for like five hours and it was night, which that isn't very typical of him. And I got nervous. I was starting to like kind of worry a little bit. And um, then, you know, right as my panic started like setting in, um, we found him. So hopefully he'll be home soon. Or she, sorry. I say he because my mom's a boy. So, yeah. And Jack is an inside cat. So he's not supposed to go out. We are a pet free community here in this apartment complex. And we are only allowed to have pets because they are for like, um, emotional support or service animal. And so they, if they're outside and they don't got, um, a person with a leash with them, yeah, you get, you get into trouble. Okay. Let's see who else is in here. So we've got Laura. Hello. Uh, DP addiction adventures. Hello. How are you? Um, it's unlike her. Oh, Dang, that's, I, I feel for you, and I really hope she comes home soon. Does she, would she come home, like, if you went outside and, like, had some food and, like, shook it or something? Because that's what I do. I go get the treats or some, you know, other stuff, and, and usually I can get her home that way. So, uh, Mysteria Diamonds, hello. Mystical 81, hello. Um, Odd But Nice, how are you? Pippa, hello. She says, oh, Ash, fingers crossed. You get her in soon yes hopefully in soon um what is it five six seven so it's seven o'clock there so hopefully before like it gets really really dark um she'll be home especially because you you know live out in the the boondocks like you say angie says hello you crazy happy peeps hello angie i hope you're a crazy happy peep as well mickey sunshine hello again um, I was just listening to you in Rebecca's live and learned all sorts of stuff about you. I had no idea. So um, I love I love the lives like interview question type stuff because I love to get to know people like on a more deeper le deeper level, like their backgrounds and and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just kind of fun. They really do feel like your kids, don't they? They do. Oh, yeah. My my fur babies are my kids. Like, they are. Um, otherwise, she'll show you her kittens. Um, hold on. Okay. I'm going to say our craft corner because I don't want to keep butchering your name. Um, says she's, I'm eating here. Deborah, hey, hey. Mystical says, did she run off? Um, Mysterious says, Crashly, we are all here for you. Yes, absolutely, we are. I got something in my eye, guys. Hold on one second. Ah, I'm trying to read and something just went in my eye. Actually, I think it's my allergies because, like, my eyes will start stinging really bad all of a sudden and start, like, watering. And it's been happening to me, like, for the last, like, week and a half. I keep saying, like, I feel like I'm getting a cold. I feel like I'm getting a cold, but it comes and goes. Um, and so I have pretty bad allergies and I'm thinking it's just allergies because it never gets worse you know um let's see crashes says like I'm worried she is having her babies and I'm not there for her you know and sometimes they do when they're having babies they like to be alone but if she did I'm sure she'd come home because that's where the food is and then when she goes back to her babies you could follow them you know follow her because animals they know what they're doing but I totally, totally know. I, I guess I can't say I know what you're going through because I've never had that happen. But um, I am definitely sympathetic for you. Nicole is here. And odd but nice. Hello. I think you, I don't know if I said you said hello to you already, but I'm saying hello to you again because you're that special. Bianca says, hi, everyone. Have a good live. I'm off to a different hospital. Are you in the hospital, Bianca? I don't, I, I have not been on everybody's live today because I was up a lot, lot. Well, I'm always up a lot at night, but then I usually like, I'll go to sleep mid morning or whatever. Um, I'll take a nap and, but Maddie's blood sugar, I just could not keep her up. I could not. And, um, it was like every hour I was having to go in and check on her and give her more juice or whatever to get her blood sugar to come up. And so, um, when my husband came out, I was like, can you please help me? Can you take over for a little bit? And I took a nap. So, yes. Are you okay if you just put them like directly on your back? Because that's what it says. But like, I don't know. 
That's yeah. You can if you have them in tin foil. It's fine. Yeah. Just be careful when you take them out. So. Uh, yeah, you can do whatever the recipe says, Manny. Just follow it. Um, Miss Nicole says, I hope she comes back. Keep us posted. Definitely keep us posted. Um, let's see. Mysterious said, did you check under any bushes outside? They like to go undercover when they're giving birth. Yeah, they do. They like to have like, like a cocoon around them. Like they're safe and they do a lot of times like to be alone. So they kind of do go off, um, and you know, handle their business. And so under bushes or like, um, I know my cat when she was, uh, this was years ago, but she went under our, like our house would go down, but there was like a ledge where you could like go up and under. And she used to love that spot because she was mainly outside and it would be really warm. And that's where she went to have her kittens. So she could just be maybe outside somewhere, you know, on your property, just kind of hiding out. Uh, Angie says, are you sure she is not hiding in the house, like under a bed? Actually, my cat had her babies under a bed. That's a good, um, that's a good point. Definitely could be in the house and just not coming out because like you said, she could be having her babies. And so, yeah, um, something to consider. Whoa, hold on a second. I clicked the wrong button and messed it all up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still getting used to the um, stream yard and the comments like on the stream yard are delayed. And so I, I read them from YouTube um, and I was going to highlight one, but I'm like, I can't highlight it when I'm on YouTube. So I went back over there. Anyways, my bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, yep, a, hot, a dark place. OK, so I'm going to kind of go down and um, say hello to any new people. If you said something in the chat like up to this point that is important or you want me to know about or you want me to read, you can say it again and highlight my name so I know, but I am working on getting better at the, at the comments. But if you're in my lives, you guys all know, like I'm not the best. So I'm working on it. But Jean has says, hi people and pets. Um, That's the one I was going to show because that's the, you know, that's where they like to go is a quiet and dark place where it's quiet. They can do their business by themselves because that's kind of what they're meant to do. So, you know, she could be in the house. You never know. Uh, Ashley says, I love her and all, but I ain't climbing under no house. <laughs> I wouldn't be climbing under no house either. My daddy climbed under the house to see if she was there and saw her. But she, he left her be like while she had her babies and then brought her out later. But yeah. Um, blonde, blonde, blonde air. Hello. Says, okay, back to being a grown up now. Oh, uh, no fun. I don't like when I have to be a grown up. Not fun. Um, Shuana. Hello. How are you? And Delma, um, Abby. Hello, Brittany and Stacy. Uh, thank you, Miss Syria. I greatly appreciate that. Um, so uh, this brings up a good a good little point that I wanted to say really quick. So um, oh, actually, hold on. Ariel, hi, how are you? Um, I think I'm caught up. I think, I think. Hold on one second. Let me make sure. Crane's Creations, hello, and Valerie, and Marcia, and Rebecca. Um, I think that's everybody, I think. <laughs> I don't um, think so. Anyways, so um, Mysteria just did the super chat. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just like a way to support the channel. And um, she said just a little something for you, Shine. So thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Um, I did want to just say something about that really quick. So a lot of you know that I am um, raising money right now for my daughter to um, get her service dog. Unfortunately, we had to put her service dog down in December. Um, she is a type 1 diabetic, so her dog did a lot of, like, um, things that were really helpful, like alert to blood sugars, um, and they can. there's just a handful of things. Um, I won't go into all that. But when you do the super chat or um, donate, like, versus um, PayPal – or it is my like money I get from YouTube. That money goes back directly into the channel unless you specify other. Um, now, like the raffle, the auction, um, 
uh, and all my purchases, all the proceeds from my shop go directly to Maddie. So just an FYI there, if you did want it to go to her, just specify that totally fine. If you want to go back to the channel, that just helps me um, kind of allow myself to like today, I got some diamond art clubs and I'm super excited about those. And that's kind of where that comes from. So I just wanted to say that really quick because I know a lot of you know um, about the fundraising we are doing for Maddie. And so I just wanted to kind of specify that. Ariel says, my cat will not stop attacking a box behind me. So noisy. Uh, yeah, they can be really noisy and in the worst times, right? Um, so Deanna Love, hello. And Brian, so glad that you could come. Says, taking a break um oh hold on hold on taking a break from my painting sometimes you need a break sometimes you get just kind of burnt out and you need that break and i i totally feel that especially if you're doing one that's full of um confetti then you definitely need that break paula says how close are you to maddie's service dog we are actually we are very close um we are i don't know the exact like dollar cent amount but we are about six four to six hundred dollars in that range um as to getting her service dog so we are really close and we're hoping that that auction will really help um with that so yeah um and then shaleen hello the coloring book nook i love your name i know i always say that but i do i don't know why it makes me feel all happy Oh, and she just finished the diamond painting. What diamond painting did you just finish? And congratulations for finishing. That is awesome. I love that feeling when you finish one. And when you finish one, then what does that mean? You get to start another one. Ariel says, present for Maddie. Love you, Mad Dog. I get first pick of the pupper, though. Called it. <laughs> you want the first picks, huh? Okay. Um... Nicole says, thank you, Mickey. I need sleep. Oh, yes, poor Nicole, guys. She is working still. She works in the pharmaceuticals. So imagine, like, working in the pharmaceuticals during this crazy time. Like, obviously, people need medicine, obviously, even more important than any other time. So she's working, like, 10, 12-hour days. So, so show some love for Nicole. She still came in here and um, was, you know, moderating for me. So... Mysterious says, I know as soon as you have that dragon cover reminder, I'm going to purchase it from you. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. And I'm, she's talking about this one right here. Beautiful. Like, I like dragons. I'm not, like, obsessed with dragons like some people. But I absolutely love this one because how gorgeous, guys. Like, is that not absolutely stunning? The color and then the diamonds and the diamond like in its mouth. I just love it all around. Um, love, 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 love it. Okay. Dick's crafting with Dixie is here. Hello. Um, let's see. Just going down, down, down. Babs, hello. Says I'm doing an LOL surprise doll for everyday e deals right now. Very cool. I need to go and look on their stuff because there is one that is what was it? Um Pinocchio, I think it was, and I really want it. Uh Nicole says, I feel you, girl. It's nuts. Ariel is also in the pharmaceutical. So she's been working, I'm sure, just as much as um Nicole has. And yet they still came and showed some love and helped me do the moderating, which um is definitely needed so especially when we have these um you know diamond painting marathons like i think that people get more trolls during them than other times and i'm not just i'm not sure if it's just because there's more people than or what but it just it happens sorry guys my diamond or my thing i'm gonna move it because it's really really annoying me that my arm keeps hitting this stupid um button to turn my light pad on and off and it just is driving me crazy. Okay, I'm going to turn it off for a second until I get caught up in the chat. Linda, hello. How are you? Um, I was thinking of doing customs of a couple things. I love dolphins. I made my own cover minders. Very cool. I've thought about doing um, a video on like how to make a, your own cover minders. Um, and a lot of people have been like, no, don't do that because then you'll lose business. But I don't know if i would um 
because a lot of people don't necessarily know where to find the things I get or how to make them in the way that I do. So I don't know. I just, I, what do you guys think? I think it would be kind of a fun video. Um, thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate it. Um, Yvonne, hello. Says I left you messages on Etsy. Hope you got them. Um, you know what? Today I haven't even gone on Etsy. So I am sure I did. I just haven't gone on there. So I will go on tonight um, after my live and do that. Cause today, like I said, I was, I took a nap for about, I don't know, two or three hours. And then, um, I did some cleaning around the house because my living room was starting to get really messy. Um, and it was just bugging me. So I did some cleaning and then I was getting ready for today. So, cause I have something in store that we're going to do in just a minute. Elizabeth Adams says, Hey shine, would you like a couple of teddy bears for the auction? Have a blue and white and a brown one brown and white one absolutely we are taking any and all things you guys because yes uh we are a crafting community but we are also human beings so we need other things and you know you go to like uh, a yard sale or um a, like a thrift store and you find those things so it's kind of like that but the money is going to something you know where it's going and it's going to a good cause so that um yeah we'll have uh, obviously have diamond paintings. We will have cover minders. We will have diamond painting pens. Um, we will have like quilting tote bags that are really cool. Um, so yeah, any and everything you guys are, you know, wanting to get rid of that you think somebody else might want. Definitely, definitely. And we are kind of like pushing the auction back a little bit. We were originally going to do it somewhat soon, but just because of everything right now, like people are staying home. I don't want people to have to feel like they have to go out to go to the post office during all of this. So we are kind of postponing. It'll probably be like a month or so. Um, so yeah, and our collab most likely will still be going by then. We've talked about just making it like a normal every week um, video, not just a collab, but just because we have so much fun like recording together. And we do um, actually wanted to ask you guys again, just to remind you about that form. If you are in our like watching our collab videos and you have entered your name um, to win one of the giveaways, that form is really helpful because um, it will basically give us your information so we don't have to go find you. So let's say somebody won a giveaway and I've had this happen. And I say, I you guys got 24 hours to get, you know, get in touch with me or message me back. And if you don't, they'll have to draw another name. This kind of takes that out. You don't have to worry about it. You'll just, even if you don't know you're getting something, you won't get something. And it also gives us the opportunity to give a little friend mail. Look at these drills, you guys. Look at them. You see, do you see what I am dealing with? The two colors? Yes. I accidentally mixed them and I've been too lazy to like take the time to separate them. I've just been doing it like this. So, so guys, don't forget if you want me to make sure to see one of your comments, please, please, please highlight it for me because yeah, I'm just not the best. Um, I get off into my stories, especially with only having an hour. It, yeah. I'm just, I'm yeah. Um, so I, uh, Beth, I am almost done with the custom of my cousin and her hubby. Woohoo! Yay. So, um, you definitely will be done by my finished Friday. So I want that. I want that painting. Um, I'm going to mute you guys for one second. Cause I need to blow my nose. <laughs> so hold on. Okay. I just didn't feel like, you know, Y'all had to listen to me blow my nose. So I was like, I'll just mute it for just a second. Um, I'm just turning these so that you guys can see them. Um, what else was I going to say as form of like, I don't think there's any other announcements. Our video, um, normally our collab was going to be on Saturday. But because of the fact that... Um, this was going on we decided to postpone it till tomorrow so that way people you know could come in and they didn't have to like take time out to go and watch that video so um and as far as my channel goes 
normally my lives are two hours. I do the first hour and a half, just kind of like this, chit chat and hanging out, whatever. And then the last half hour, I show you new cover minders that I have. Well, because this is a, um, a uh, community thing, I'm not going to show you um, one by one my new cover minders right now, but I am going to be scheduling a live probably Monday afternoon. And I will show you my new cover minders at that time, as well as draw that name for the raffle um, or the, yeah, the raffle for those three diamond paintings by Diamond Art Club. Um, if you had entered into, basically, if you bought something in Shine Shop, every $10 that you spent in Shine Shop, you got towards a raffle ticket. So because you guys are so freaking awesome, um, and I have so many and I'm doing it the old fashioned way, guys. I'm hand writing them out because it's not a comment. It's not a thing in the comments. So I can't just do like a random comment picker. I'm writing every one out and there are there are hundreds of them. So um, if you still want to be uh, entered into that auction or the raffle, sorry, you can still be. But my guidelines are you have to have your your um. You have to have your purchase completed by midnight on Sunday so that I can get those last minute um, names in into the drawing. So I can't have it be like right before I go live, otherwise I can't uh, get you entered. So you do have till tomorrow midnight if you want to be, and there are three Diamond Art Clubs. Um, one of them is the newer um, Frozen one that came out. That's one of them. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the other ones. I just know they're they're cool. So okay. Um let's see, I need a package sent out. I have a present, I need donation. So Abby, if you're talking about the auction, I don't know the date of it, and it's gonna be on my channel. Um, and if you guys have anything you want to donate, you can email me at shine shop. Um sorry, not shine shop at shine like a diamond. 2019 at gmail.com um, or you can Facebook me and if you join my Facebook group um, then you can find me under Beth Cromer Lion um, and message me on there or if you need to <clears throat> you can Instagram or do it in the shop but I would say use the shop as like a last resort um, just because I try to keep things somewhat separate but if that's like your only way of doing it that's fine um, Valerie says, my husband is a nurse. He became one in the Navy. He has been out for many years. He may be getting called back into service. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Valerie. That is, that is not an easy thing. Well, thank, tell him, thank you for his service. And I hope that he, you know, is able to kind of stay out of it. Um, let's see. Nothing special at the bottom to enter the weekly giveaway. So we have a comment. Or ha hold on. We just have you comment something by filling out the form. We will already have everyone's address. Exactly. So it's just a way of having your information, not having to hunt you down. But to be entered into the collab uh, giveaway, all you have to do is answer the question that we ask you in the video. Um, and we recorded the video on Thursday and yesterday. And it's fun. It's a really fun one. I actually had a lot of fun. And it's also like a really good way to get to know each other because we became really fast friends, but we haven't been friends for a long time. And so it's a good way to like learn about each other and for you guys to learn about us as well. Um, do you make call dolphin cover minders or do you custom? I absolutely can do customs. I also do a lot of like people ask me, hey, could you find something like this? And then I, I'm like, absolutely. That's one of my favorite things is hunting down things that are harder to find. Um, I do have some dolphin ones. Like I have this one right here. Um, that's a new one. And I have, let me see. See, I have that one. I have this dolphin one, which is my favorite. And then I have this little dolphin one. So yeah, definitely I do have dolphins. That is for sure. Um, they're they're a popular a popular thing. And I don't use my cover minders like just for like you know doing the cover. As you can tell, like right now, I don't need the cover minders. I just like them. They're fun. 
and I use them just to kind of decorate my painting, make it a little funner. So, um, yeah. Okay. I love, love, love the dolphin. Um, looking at it at that one right there. So, and this one isn't in the shop yet, but if you are interested in getting it, you can message me on Etsy and I can add it in um, today versus like waiting till tomorrow. I'm totally fine with that. Crashly, are you ever going to do a cooking video, please? Oh, <laughs> I almost gave something away, but the cooking video you just said, stay tuned because I guarantee you that will be coming in, in the future weeks um, with us. So it's going to be a blast. Angie, I'd have to get permission from Kerwin, fa ha ha, and learn where all the pots and pans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gradually, you are bad. You know where your pots and pans are. I would hope so, anyways. No, but she don't like to cook. She's like me. She's not not a big cooker. I'm a good cook. Um, not trying to be like pat me on the back, but I can cook. Like it's not that I can't. I just don't enjoy it as much. Um, but I have been actually having a lot of fun. Oh, I almost gave some away. I can't tell you that yet. Number says, Presley, I sent you a link. Um, there may be something coming, maybe. Yeah, see, I almost, yeah, I, I totally spilled some of the beans there, Ashley. Angie said, um, <laughs> see, she says, shh, shh. <laughs> I didn't say everything. I didn't say everything. Trust me, there's a lot more than just what I just said. It's, yeah, yeah. I made an awesome chili in my Instapot. <gasps> I want an Instapot so bad. Like, we were gonna, um, we were thinking about using some of our taxes to do the Instapot, but we decided to wait until everything's done and over with just because like we might need that money for bills. Um, luckily my husband's still working though. I don't know how because his job's not really essential to the community, but they put in the form and they were approved to stay open. He's making a ton of stuff for like Costco, um, like hand, uh, hands-free faucets, drinking fountains, soap dispensers, towel dispensers. So he's doing a ton of that right now. So, and he's a welder, if you guys didn't know. So he does that. And he does make some things for the hospitals, which is how they, they were able to keep their, their doors opened. Okay, so we are going to play a little game. Not really a game. Um, hold on, Mysteria says, I commented on the video and not the form. Did I mess up? No, 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 no. So Mysteria, the, the form um you that is just your information you want to comment on the video that's where yeah you did not mess up we're just the form is just to get your uh like address so that way when somebody wins we don't have to like worry about trying to connect with you to get your address we can just send it out and then we have it for future giveaways um or if we want to send somebody some like pick me up mail or friend mail or something um, we'll have your address on file. And of course, those are confidential. They stay between me and Crashly. Um, I'm still getting this dang light thing hitting my arm. Not making me happy. Anyway, so no, you want to comment on the video. On the video. Um, luckily, the boyfriend are essential. Yeah, I know you are. Definitely. Uh, Crashly says, and who the giveaways. You comment on the videos. The form is just so we have your address. And that's all the form is for. Exactly. I'm going to highlight that so you all see that. Because that, whoops, there we go. So that everybody understands what the form is for. Um, damn allergies. Right? Damn allergies. I'm just annoyed. Plus, it's like my nose gets stuffy. I sound sick or my I get really raspy throat or like I'll get a tickle in my throat. And then I, if I have to go to the grocery store, people are going to look at me like, what are you doing? You know, <laughs> like it's allergies. I promise. I promise it's allergies. Um, do you have any unicorn minders? Uh, yes, I do. Susan, I got one right here. Um, I'm wondering if you can see it. Hold on, because I have my thing in the way. Yeah, so I have this unicorn. I've got I've got quite a few actually unicorns. So yes, I do. There will be more posted in the next day or two as well. Like I have a couple sitting right here. I can show you those real quick, and then we're gonna play a little game. So I have that unicorn. I've got that unicorn. Um, and I have that unicorn which this one is one of my favorites so and these two are already on the shop the other two aren't so again if you're interested in one of those you can let me know and i can i can get it posted sooner than later okay so what we're gonna do oh by the way welcome holly the video i'm talking about holly is the um 
uh, the one that is for, hold on, I gotta go back and delete, take that off. Okay, so the video is the, it's called Crash Into Shine. Um, that is our collab that me and Crashly are doing, and that is the one where there will be a giveaway every single week, and then we will have a, um, uh, what I want to say, grand finale, but that is not the word. Uh, Crash, help me out. What is it? You know, the, the, the big prize at the end. What's it called? My brain's doing a fart on me. It's getting stinky in here with all my brain farts today. Um... What is it called, guys? It's something like the, the, oh, my brain. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Grand prize. Thank you. What is wrong with me today? I did that the other day, though. When we were recording, I said grand finale. She's like, you mean grand prize? Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we are going to play a little game um it is going to be kind of like a who knows me best but also for all of you guys to have a chance to get to know each other as well um because i think even though we are social isolating i think it's really important we are st still being social talking to friends do, you know so that we just stay from getting into a funk you know what i mean um, i know if i'm in a funk and i go and i talk to a good friend um, it really helps me. And so I'm hoping that maybe you'll be like, oh, I have a lot in common with them. Maybe you can make a new friend. I don't know. Most of these are pretty easy, simple, like basic questions. Um, but yeah, so and I, there will be a prize as to who's um, whoever gets the most. So moderators, please, please, you can play. But can you please help me? Um, tally up, you know, who, uh, help. Yeah. You all know what I'm trying to say. Help me with the, the counting of who gets what right. So it'll be the first person that answers the question, right. That will get the point. So, um, the first one is, and these are all stuff that, by the way, that I have at some point talked about on my channel. So it's nothing like crazy out there that I've never said that you have to guess. Like I have talked about all these things at some point on my channel. So the first one is what is my favorite drink besides water? So what is my favorite drink besides water? Cause I do love me some water. I drink a lot of it. Um, but besides water. Okay. So Mickey sunshine, she got it first. You are correct, Amundo. Where's my pen at? There it is. Um, I'm gonna try to keep keep score too, but you know it gets it gets hard sometimes when there's so many people, especially like right now we've got like 60 people in here. So yeah, okay. The second one is, and this I I know I've said this too. So how old am I? And no, I'm not embarrassed about how old I am. So. Yeah, throw it out there. How old am I? And I have a, a score two. Oh, okay, yeah. So Andy says 29, Mysterious says 32, Ariel says 33, Nicole says 39, Brian says 30, um, Mickey Sunshine says 37, Susan, you got it. I am 35 years old. And I almost just tried to write on my piece of paper <laughs> with my drill pen. That wouldn't work very well now, would it? So, yes, I am 35. Um, funny thing is, though, for about, I want to say six to nine months, I thought I was 36. And I told people I was 36. And then my husband was like, you are 35. I was like, nah. -uh. He's like, do the math. I'm like... I did the math. I'm like, I'm 36. He's like, do it again. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I am 35. He's like, I'm 36. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not. I mean, I'm not that old, but I, I apparently am old enough to forget how old I am. So, OK, so the next. Oh, by the way, what I want you to do and you do not have to do this if you do not want to um, put your because I forgot to do it with the first one. Put your favorite drink and how old you are in the comments. So this is that part of getting to know the, uh, you know, other people. And it gives me a chance to kind of get to know my subscribers because I love you guys all. And I do know quite a few of you personally. 
um, but not everybody. And so I like to, to learn more about y'all. So Ariel's favorite drink is Sprite Zero. And she says, I'm 22. Um, Milo is uh, Kraft Cor our Kraft Corner's favorite drink. Nicole is Dr. Pepper, and she's 39. Um, our Kraft Corner is 46. Cranes is 51. Uh, Bethany is Dr. Pepper and 44. Mystical is 39 years old. There's quite a few people in here that like Dr. Pepper. Um, Paula says caffeine. Coffee <laughs> or Giant Coke, which those have caffeine in it. So, yes. Um, okay. So, the next question um, is how many kids do I have? And there's a bonus question. What are their names? So, how many kids do I have? And what are their names? Laura got how many kids? So two. Um, I have a boy and a girl, two kids. But does somebody want to try to get the bonus answer and what their names are? Craig knew one of them. Uh, Dixie. Dixie got it, I think. Um, Alex and Maddie. Correct. So Dixie got the bonus point. Uh, right. And then a bunch of other people said it too. Valerie says Maddie and Nathan. Oh no, 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 not Nathan. Mm -mm. Nope. I, I only say that because I dated a Nathan and I dated him for six years. There is no way in heck that I could do that. No way. My husband be like, excuse me, what now? <laughs> no. Um, not that I don't have anything against that name. I just would never name my kid that just because there's too much um, baggage with that name. You know what I mean? Um, because it wasn't even just like a, a fling. It was a, a six year from the time I was a freshman until after high school that I dated Nathan. So which you never mind. Never mind. Okay. Um, let's see. So how many kids do you guys have? And um what are their names? So I'll let you guys answer for, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then we'll go on to the next question so that we can get hopefully as many of these questions gone through um, in the time. I'm not used to having only an hour, and so I'm trying, but you all know me. I talk and jibba jabba a lot and just kind of go on and on. I don't ever have, like, lack of something to say, <laughs> it seems like. Um, okay, so... Uh, Nicole says, my puppy is my kid and her name is Lazi or Luzi. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, Delma has no kids. Dixie has three. Tabitha, Bonnie, and Alicia. Lizzie. Okay, that sounds better, Nicole. That sounds better. Um, Angie says three. Ashley, Brandon, and ha, ah, it's going too fast. Hold on. Ashley, Brandon, and Jessica. Shalene says two. Justin and Dylan. Uh, Carla says no kids yet. Uh, Abby, three boys. Keith and Chad and Dylan. Oh, God bless you. You got three boys. Whew. Um, let's see. Nicole Glenn says three. Natalie, Caitlin, and Haley. Oh, my gosh. I love the name Caitlin. One of my favorite names is Caitlin. Um, okay, so next question. How long have I been married? How long have I been married? I know. I think I talked about this just in the last couple weeks. So how long have I been married? Um, Ariel says 10 years. Andy says 10, 10. Dixie, 12. Um, our, set, our craft corner says 10. Nicole, 9. Um, go up a little, guys. Um, Ariel says, shoot, wait, <laughs> Delma got it. 15 years. Yes. Delma got it. I have been married for 15 years as of the beginning of this month on December 5th. It was 15 years. So I feel like an old lady sometimes when I, it's like, it's weird to think that I've been married for 15 years. Like, I, I don't know. It just. I didn't say December, did I? March is March. Did I say December? I don't know if I did. My son thought I said December. If I did, uh, no, that's not what I meant. 
March. March 5th was my anniversary. And it was 15 years on March 5th. So, um, okay. How many years have you guys been married? Our craft corner says almost seven to your amazing husband. Dixie says I'm married going on 40 in June. Um, oh, married on May 13th. Bethany, 25 years. Congratulations. That's a huge number. And Nicole, there ain't nothing wrong with being single. Trust me, nothing wrong with it. I mean, there are perks, I think, going along with being married. But then there are also a lot of perks to being single. Like, you don't got to answer to nobody. You know what I mean? So, except for yourself. So, I, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Um, Abby was 28, then divorced. I'm sorry about that. 28 is a long time. That would be, that would be a hard one. I think 28 years. Cause geez. Yeah. I can't even imagine that. Um, 17 years together. Although we are not officially divorced. Uh, Kathy, 43 years. Congratulations, Kathy. That's a long time. Mallory says I've been married for eight years. Okay. Oh, Babs, you're you're a newlywed. Eight months. Congratulations. That's still newlywed time to me. I think the first year is, you know, newlywed. Okay. Um, where did I go on my honeymoon? Where did I go on my honeymoon? No, we talked about it last night when we were recording, so they haven't seen that video. But I have talked about this. I actually did a whole video about this in one of my Throwback Thursday videos that I used to do. It's been a little while, but um, <laughs> Maui, I wish. Um, Hawaii, I wish, but no. Nope, nope, no. Hawaii. No Hawaii. Well, Bahamas, Hawaii, Maui, those are all really popular. That's why. Um... Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to give you a, a, a hint. It was in the U.S. And it was only one state away from me. So there's your hint. Mexico. Missed that video, I think. And it was a, it was a little bit ago, but um, home. No, no I, I, I'm on, my honeymoon wasn't at home. Fortunately, I was able to actually go somewhere, just not super far, but it's one of my favorite places to go. So Grand Canyon, um, Utah, California. Um, what the heck is by Washington? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to give you a, one more clue, one more clue, and then I'm going to tell you. Um, oh, Jean, Jean got it, Oregon. So we went, and I'm going to give it to you, otherwise we'll be here. We'll be here all day if I make you get specific. So uh, Jean is the winner for that one. I went to the Oregon coast. Um, one of my favorite places. I don't like flying. My husband at the time, my husband at the time, he's still my husband, but I mean, at the time, um, he had never been out of the state before. So um, he was, or to the ocean. So that was um, a really like big deal for him and it was also really exciting for me because we used to go um, on vacations down to the Oregon coast and it was like always some of my favorite vacations that we went on so it was um it was very fun we were only gonna go for four days but we counted all of our money from our wedding and used some cash and ended up staying an extra week so it was a ton of fun and um I really really want to take the kids there okay so throw it out there where have you guys been where, I mean, honeymoon. Where'd you guys go on your honeymoon? Where did you go? Um, Austria. Where by the coast? Um, it was Lincoln City. And we went to um, uh, Coos Bay. And we kind of went up and down the coast. We went to, I think it's Victoria. Um where else? What did it? But we stayed mainly in. We stayed in a. At first, we went to two different places that we stayed at. But we stayed at a um. Like a is it a condo kind of a condo kind of a place? 
uh, right on the beach. It was absolutely beautiful. And I think in that video, I can try to find it and link it in the description later. But I think in that video, I even showed pictures of our honey. Actually, I know I did because I had my my scrapbook over here when I made that video and I showed you guys some pictures. So um, skiing in the Poconos. Wow. A cruise. Um, my hometown was Coos Bay. Oh, very cool. Um, Carla said she went on a cruise Pacific coast wine tour, a uh, casino for one night on the night we got married and then home. Very fun though. Nowhere probably why divorced. <laughs> no, you didn't go anywhere on your honeymoon, so therefore you're divorced. Um, uh, hey, Cara, how are you? I When I was saying hello to everybody, I was wondering if you were going to join in because you usually are here. So um, uh, Jean got that one. So the next question is, what is my favorite video to make for you guys? What's my favorite video to make you? Make, record, you know, edit, all that kind of stuff. What video is it? Uh, Ariel got it. Whip It Wednesdays. Yes, I love Whip It Wednesdays. They, um, honestly, they're my most time-consuming video because they can take anywhere from four to eight hours depending on how many I put in um, and all that stuff. And that from, like, start to, like, having it uploaded, you know, so that includes exporting and uploading and all that stuff. But yes, I love my Whip It Wednesday. So, um, okay. So next question, actually, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to skip to the next question. I'm not going to ask you guys what your favorite is because, um, we don't have too much longer. So let me look here. Um, when actually I'm going to skip that question. Okay, this one you guys should know. Where do I live? What city and state do I live in? Who's quickest in the fingers? Because I know I talk about this all the time. All the time. Um, Ariel got it. Spokane, Washington. Spokane, Washington. Yes, yeah, so Ariel got it. So now um put in where and i'm gonna only give you a couple seconds just because for time's sake but where do all of you guys live what city state whatever you can put whatever you want to say you don't have to go into detail obviously don't like give me your address or anything <laughs> um monroe pennsylvania florida minnesota um Sorry, I'm trying to read here. It's going really fast. Florida, Houston, Alaska, Omaha, Augusta, Maryland, Australia. Um, 10 minute warning. Thank you, Mickey. Appreciate it. Um, Linwood, Washington. Okay, so next question. Where? Oh, wait, I just asked you that. The what? Okay, that one. That one's really easy. So I'm going to go to this one. How many pets do I have? And the bonus question is what are both of their names? So what, how many pets do I have and what are their, is the bonus question is what are their names? I got a lot of those out. Um, where is my thing? Okay, sorry, looking. Okay, so two pets. Who said it first? Who said it first? Mysteria, I think, said it first. Is that right, moderators? Yes. So Mysteria got the first one. Um, is how many pets do I have? And let's see who has, um, yes, you're correct, Ariel, two plus the extra doggo. So um, does anybody know, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, a cat and dog, uh, Eli Lincoln and Jack. So Jean, Jean got it first uh, for their name. So good job, Jean. Uh, so Jean got one point there. So and my extra bonus question was going to be, what is the name of the dog we have to stay with us sometimes? Um, but who put it? Did you put it in, Jean? I don't think. Yes, you did. So um, you get that that um, extra bonus, Jean. So you just got two points. So Eli is our dog that comes and stays with us. He's um, Lincoln's like best best friend, 
and uh, he has to stay in a studio, uh, a training studio, because he doesn't get along with one of my friend's dogs. So he comes and hangs out with us. So, okay, next question. Um, and I'm going to, I think I'm only going to do um, one more. So here, I'll do a quick one. Two quick ones. What craft did I do before I got into diamond painting? What craft did I do before I got into diamond painting? I have talked about it. I talked about it last week in my live. Um, oh, sorry. I had to mute it for a second because I needed to scold my son. All right, hold on. Um, I noticed it was a top ten. Hold on. Um, yes, Ariel got it. Paint by numbers. Um, yes, I was. I loved paint by numbers, and but I love diamond painting more because it's less mess, much less messy with my autoimmune disorder. I have um, jerk, so I used to throw the paint all the time. And um, thank you, Sherry. I knew my mic was off. I just didn't warn you guys, but yeah, I turned it off because my son kept making all sorts of noise on purpose. So I was scolding him to be quiet. Uh, okay. The last one is what genre of movies is my favorite? What are my favorite kind of movies? Favorite kind of movies. Um, scary. Angie got it. Yeah, scary movies are my favorite. Um, definitely. I love anything scary. Horror, thriller, suspense, like anything scary. I love it. Um, okay, so I haven't counted, but I think Ariel is my winner. Um, and it doesn't surprise me because Ariel has been with me since the very beginning, guys. Like the very beginning. Um, she was in my Facebook group before I even made a channel. So it doesn't surprise me. Um, that she knows and she watches I think almost all of my videos so how many did Ariel get I'm trying to count here so one two three four four so Ariel I think got four um so congratulations um, oh, you tied, Jean? Let me count yours. Hold on. Hold on. I'm still counting the other one. So one, two. My handwriting is not the best. Three. Okay. So the two of you tied. So um, all you got to do, Ariel, I have your um, address already, obviously. So, but um, message me if you could both. Ariel and Jean, both of you, you got three. I thought you got four. Hold on. You got, th you got, what craft did I do? So that was one. You got where I live. Um, you got, where's the other one at? Do, 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 do. Uh, you got how many kids I have. Did I? And where's the other one at? Maybe you did only get three. No, and the Whip It Wednesday. So you did. You got four. You got four. So Ariel and Jean, um, both of you, if you, you'd both know my Facebook messenger. So if you could message me on there and I will send you guys um, both a, like a few different cover minders and you guys can choose which cover minder uh, you want. Going to be a little tricky with you, Ariel, because you have almost everything. <laughs> Not really, but uh, I will. And that's how. Um, yeah. So how many kids? Hold on a sec. There was two. There was how many kids? And then there. Um, yes, because Dixie, you got that one. And so did Ariel. Because there was the bonus question of the names. If I I'm going to count these again because I don't have time, but I'm going to count them again. And if I um have mistaked anything i will get in touch with you guys um and i don't care if i have to give out you know more cover minders um even if i was wrong that's okay i will do it because that's just yeah so i will go over these really quickly when i'm done um and it, i'll message you if if there was another winner so um but 
the next person i can't remember off the top of my head who is it um oh shoot who is it ah and my daughter has my phone so i can't even go look uh somebody who has the playlist on them who goes next and you're welcome angie absolutely love having you guys does anybody remember because i forgot to put it in my description i should do that um pippa that's right pippa goes next yes 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 it's pippa so go check pippa out she is going to be starting right now so thank you guys so much and as always you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem smarter than you think and you are definitely loved more than you know so with that keep on shining and i'll see you next time bye guys